Hey folks, this is Decoherent, and welcome back to RimWorld. So here we are, a new map, a new base. It's amazing. Um, before we get started here, well, actually my notes just say, oh god, build base. So here's a couple of notes that I had. So this is the outline of the area that this um, particular wind turbine needs. So blue is where I'm probably going to sketch in my first walls. Um, just, I don't know, kind of a box-ish, and then a little bit of a visitor's entrance over here. I guess I could have cleared this down here for some clarity. Is that right? No, that's wrong. Never mind. Um, but anyway, um, it'll look something like this, so I'll just try to put that together as soon as I can get the stone cut. Um, this is actually going to become the indoors area, which isn't, I don't know, really a great place to put this with the storage, but I don't know. We're just going to do it for now. We're already so far behind the curve in terms of like base building and tech and stuff, like I've got to get things together. I don't even have the steel to make the research bench, and we so desperately need to get the research bench going. So um, we'll get that taken care of as soon as we can. Um, the Galatross. So the Galatross have been fixed. Um, these are now the new version, the Moribund Galatross. Um, they're deeply intelligent creatures, and they can somehow ascertain when they're close to death. They'll then instinctively direct themselves to an arid shrubland known as the Galatross Graveyard and die there alone, far from their group. Of course, the time scales involved are impressive for humans, and a Galatross might live as long as two decades roaming around a graveyard. So that's all well and good. Um, I'm thinking they run around eating trees. There were... There's a tree here that I'm going to chop down. Um, and then I think there's one more nearby here. I think I'm going to chop some of these down right away, just so I get to them before the Galatross do. There we go. There's two over there. Um, just so I've got some wood stored. We only have 88, and there is some stuff like the drug lab and stuff that does require some wood, so I do want to get that in there as quick as I can. Um, yeah, we need steel. Oh yeah, my only note. <sighs> so this base placement, right? Look at this pretty river, running underneath a mountain. Yeah. Insects can spawn in water. I personally don't agree with that particular behavior, and I haven't decided if I'm going to get rid of it. But at the moment, we have more or less uh, moved into the corner penthouse of Bug City. This is not great. Um, we'll have to deal with that as soon as we can. So, oh, I don't know, man. It's going to be exciting. And let's make sure you guys are eating. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, you're building the new butcher table, that's right. I forgot about that. Okay, yeah, you did that and then you chopped it up outside here anyway. Whatever. Just, just do you. I'm perfectly happy as long as whatever it is you're doing involves keeping us from starving to death. And I think we will actually be okay. I think. Is this? Yeah, steel. See, again, 20 wood. Oh, alright. So I'm pulling the sarcophagus and the two doors up here because it's quicker to bring them up there and then deconstruct them. Um... It just is, because then they don't run back and forth getting the stuff for it. So we'll get that taken care of as soon as we can. And actually, Fox, when you're done... No, not you, Morg. Um, you're sewing, but I would really like you to come chop these down. If you could chop down that one, and if you could chop down this one, then things will basically be okay. Poor Morg is working so hard, even though she's super sick. It's terrible. I'm really happy that these guys are really easy to kill, too, by the way. Just haul that, please. Thank you. And then go ahead and get some rest. We have a non-trivial amount of steel. I mean, also, my people are stomping through the water. But it's still... I don't know, man. I don't think it's going to be good enough. Oh, the bones. Um, I do not have the bone mod installed um, from, like, the Room of Magic pack. And the reason is, it's super overpowered. It's awesome. But if you're doing any hunting of animals of any kind, very rapidly you end up with this enormous pile of bones that you can make anything out of. And it's awesome, but... It's not very good. I was curious, with this, um... Yeah, this does count as disturbed sleep. Shoot. Well, maybe not. When does that drop off? Oh, okay. I was just hoping that, like, having these drawers closed would mean that maybe it no longer counts as being disturbed while you're sleeping. But apparently I am wrong. Are we really out of blocks? Oh, no, they're just over here, because I kind of moved things around a little bit. Okay, good. <laughs> uh, here, have a door. I'll move them around anyway. Theo, you're doing great, but what I need you to do after you get that section done is haul this stuff back here so our constructors get busy. Okay, you only brought 54, but okay. You know, that's cool. Uh, 54 is a number, I mean... Sure. All the stuff is in the wrong spot, like I said. I just need to, like, get it going. Um, do I want to build any more walls? I've got this mudstone. That's kind of cool. I've never built anything out of this. Um, Connor, 
If you have two seconds here. No stack available to merge into. Can I not build anything out of this structurally? At all? Okay. Nothing significant. Okay, let's make sure I'm not cutting too much of that up. Like, this stuff can just stay there, for example. This is going to be in the way, so I've got to move it. But beyond that, yeah, let's not, uh, let's not chop up mudstone. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Pro tip. Whoa, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Connor, where are you, buddy? Can you come do some cooking, please? I know that I only had this set to do a couple, but I need you to come take care of this. We are not eating raw food. Not even a little. Yes, rice. We're all set. Poor fox. All right, now I'll let you go. Go ahead and have an actual meal. Very good. In fact, I'm wondering if I should set us only on meat. Or, I'm sorry, only on vegetables and use the meat for um, kibble. Um, I'm not too worried about it. Yeah, I'm not too worried about it. Okay, so now that you've got the basics planted, um, let's go ahead and let's expand these zones. I just wanted to make sure that, like, the hyper-fertile stuff was, you know, already done. R rice can be kind of a hassle, but go ahead and go ahead and grow a little more. Um, heal rope, we're going to need a whole bunch right away, so just go ahead and expand this. And cotton is not really a concern, so we're going to kind of ignore it for right now. Okay, I've got the steel, so let's go ahead and let's close this up. We need to get some blocks chopped, um, which means I need these hauled urgently, please. Morg, where are you at? I feel like I should, like, lock Morg into the base, but I think that just cooking will do that all by itself. Okay, here we go. I've got some marble. So I can go ahead and I can make some marble walls. Okay, not until someone's hauled it, but okay. There we go. Thank you. And unfortunately, this is kind of in the wrong spot, but... Eh! Oh, it's limestone. Okay, whatever. Limestone, marble, it's all the same. Um, except it's not. That's right, I can't build anything. Urgh, that's annoying. Morg, you are resting. Go right ahead and rest. I'm worried about you, to be perfectly honest. Fox, if you have two seconds, can you cut a couple blocks, please? Just like one. I just need to be able to put in a door, you know? Okay, that's good, thank you. That's all I need. Actually, it's not all I need. I need one more, but now Theo gets to do it. Solar flare. Irritating. Oh, my meat doesn't rot. Uh, annoying. Oh yeah, and I've got a production spot set up in here to make um, uh, smoke leaf joints forever. So, that's all cool. Really, did you mess this up? Really? Dude. Just dude. Seriously. Need you guys to do a better job, please. I understand that you're under terrible conditions right now, and this is the best that you can probably come up with. And I'm pleased that you're doing so well to begin with. You guys are troopers, for sure. Okay, and as soon as we've got this up, then this can go ahead and this will all be roofed. Oh, you're going to be so excited to roof in this whole area. Gosh, builders love to roof. They love it more than almost anything in the entire world. And let's expand the zone just a little bit. All right, that's fine. Fox, would you mind just kicking those out the door, please? Thank you. Much obliged. Okay, so we've got a little more steel. We can go ahead and we can add another light over here. Not that we can run power to it. Well, I mean, I guess we can run power to it, but I don't know if we have enough steel to make that worthwhile. But we'll do it anyway. Low food. Yeah, that's us. We've got a meal. You know, we may end up with two meals. I may end up just cooking this meat. I really don't want to, but I think that may be what happens. Oh. Maybe not. Yep, that's what's gonna happen. Oh well. That's fine. Once again, I always forget if I don't set this. Oh, horse meat. Mmm. H-I insect meat. Okay. I don't like using it up like that, but oh well. Okay, so now this is all indoors. So, okay, you're on an insulting spree. That's obnoxious, but whatever. Connor, can you come cook, please? Please don't insult people. It's very rude. 
I mean, I suppose that's the point, but even so, it's very rude. You're having a party! Nice! You're having a party during an insulting spree. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, you do you, man. Don't research, attend the party. Now the party's been called off. Well, okay. Look at you just spreading, like, love throughout the world. Psychic drone. Oh god, poor Morg. I think I can give you some more pot. I'm not sure. Wasn't there a beer or something over here that I kind of forgot about? I feel like I scrolled past one and then I kind of uh, shrugged and ignored it. I don't see it though, so... Yeah, poor Morg. Alright, alright, alright. So we've got four meals. No problem. No problem at all. We'll do some hunting in the morning. Because <laughs> it's a problem. Oh god, is it a problem. Uh, can I make furniture out of mudstone? Yes, that I can do at least. All right. Need warm clothes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it does get cold here. Oh, that's interesting. Hmm. It's not very warm in here either. Well, it's going to have to be good enough. In the morning, we need to cut this. We need to deconstruct this, which just makes it go away. Um, This is a dumb place to put things for storage, but once again, eh, it kind of is what it is, you know? We got stuff to do. Buildings to make. This is all steel or something highly thermally conductive, right? Yup. Alright. Well, we can probably get away with um, these offer rooms for one more day. Oh, wow. Okay, so never mind. We're not doing that. That's kind of a ridiculous amount of labor. Um, do all stone furnitures take that much? Suddenly I can't remember. Hmm. We'll build it out of steel. We got a lot of steel. Or, we don't, but we will. At some point in the near future. Yeah, that's much better. And you're getting a nice dining chair. Not even a stool. That's how much I care. Dude passing by. Hello. Did someone come and chop down that tree? Or did it get eaten? <laughs> oh, I could have gone either way. Alright, we gotta do some hunting. Do we have anything around in this immediate vicinity? Maybe? Please? I mean, I guess we can go run across the map. Please tell me we have some wildlife. Dromedaries. Um, yeah, let's come kill some dromedaries. I'm gonna leave Morg here, because Morg quite frankly- uh, uh, sorry. Morg, uh, can't afford it. Um, I'm gonna bring everybody else, though, just in case they go crazy. So, come on up here. Nah, you're walking directly up the river. That's inadvisable. Being wet makes you unhappy. And we are having some trouble with happiness in general. Alright, let's see if we can avoid manhunters. Well, let's just shoot them all. Get over here. Stupid things, I'm trying to kill you. Just stand still for a few moments, would ya? One. All right, Morg has gone canatonic. Awesome. Okay. Well, this is really quite fantastic. Go ahead and haul. Um, go ahead and haul. And I see that you are finishing it off. Good. And go ahead and haul. So my grower is now catatonic. Um, we have some meat though. We'll be okay for a while. And, okay, good. Which ones are ancient danger? Okay, it's this one. Okay. Here, let's put a little mark on it. There. There, good enough. Okay. Well, at least we don't have to worry about uh, more going crazy, right? Problem solved. Good God, we are doomed. Wow, okay, so Theo really uh, kind of took that out of control there. With a little, like, tantrum. Okay. Well, that sucks, moron. In fact, you get to get up in the middle of the night and come bring some steel back. Oi. And Connor, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to have you do the same thing. And then finish that up. Minor break risk, yeah. You had a tantrum like 19 seconds ago. You can't possibly already be a minor break risk. I need you to cook some meals quick. 
Wait, did I just look at the wrong person? I did. Okay, well, whatever. Make one set of meals. And then I think I need you to make the heater, because it's already cold. Okay, I need to, uh, here. Hold on, hold on. We need to let our animal haul. <laughs> so stop writing our, our uh, animal all over the place. Okay. So, Connor. Yep, butcher up. I really wish you weren't using raw meat. But at least you're done being trained for right now. Okay. Well. Okay. Do I really need to do this? Yeah, I do. This is going to be like my money. Well, the psychic drone is done, so that's nice. Wait, I just heard something die. Did someone kill something convenient for us? Well, no, quite frankly. Please, uh, that revolver needs to go inside. Thank you. And I have put Theo back on plant care, which is not great, but I don't know. It's the best option I have at the moment. Here, before you go to bed. I'll let in, please. Things will eat it. Thank you. Okay, so now we've got 16 meals. So now we have some actual food security. Okay. Need meditation spot. Oh, yeah, that's right. One of these isn't dedicated to morgue, is it? No, it is. Okay, well, whatever. Maybe it's just because you're catatonic. Slacker. I'm just saying. Man, I need some walls up, man. Like, we're gonna get our next raid, and we are not prepared for this. But I really can't pull the extra work out. Please stop feeding meat to Butterfly. Butterfly's already trained. Okay, well, whatever. Here, I should have some people just haul this stuff in urgently. Yeah, get this in here. So we get it chopped apart. Bring it all in. And then we're just gonna build sandstone everywhere. Hooray for sandstone. I don't like surprises, so I would like to have some walls in. Alright, and let's see if that's enough for at least that. Oh, that's gotta be taken apart too. That is kinda cool, having those giant bones, you gotta admit. A wanderer joins. Um... Hi. Wow, you really do think my colony's too small, huh? Okay, please be useful, please be useful. I can already see you want to social... Psychically hypersensitive. Well, that's not great. Look at you with an animals of 11, though. Nice. Good, that'll free up Fox. Um, well, all right. Well, you're not ideal. You're really not. In fact, what else am I going to have you do? You know what? You can take over cleaning. Is what you can do. Oh, actually, nope. I take that back. You are going to be plant cutting or planting or whatever. Okay. Um, hi. Well, obviously you need some clothes. <sighs> I don't have a tailoring bench or anything like that. All right. All right. All right. All right. Be cool. Just be cool. Electric tailor bench, we can build a set of steel. This still takes, well, some wood, but not a whole lot. Um, we've got some steel down here. Um, unfortunately, all these people that are working so hard, I have to pull you out and have you come get stuff. Here, can you actually grab this on your way in? Um, you can have a gun. Sure, why not? Okay, Connor, if you could come build this super quick. Because you are going to make our new friend some clothes. Oh, and our new friend a bed. That's kind of rude, isn't it, to not give you a bed? Um, I don't have enough material to make you a bed. Uh, well, I mean, I guess I can make you a stone bed, but I need that stone. Are we seriously out of... Oh my god. <sighs> Let's see, there's 25 down here. How much do I need? 45. Oh, okay. Um, Fox, if you wouldn't mind grabbing this. Thank you. And let's go ahead and let's get this stuff set up. We can make you a button-down shirt. We can make you pants. And we will make those out of camel hide. 
because why not? Well, because we've got a lot of it, frankly. And I think I will have Connor do it, even though Connor's kind of busy doing other stuff. I'll force you into it later, not today. Actually, that's not true. I should make you clothes. That's actually more important than you having recreation. Although, you are more important than our new person. I don't know. We'll just we'll just do what we can. Oh yeah, have a schedule. Okay, how are our walls doing? Poorly, very poorly. Um, here, bring some materials out to at least save some time running back and forth. Uh, same thing over here. If we have enough, I think we're just about out. Yep, don't actually build it, just carry the stuff out. Oh, our new person was helping. Sorry about that new person. Okay, there we go. Thank you. Go do whatever. Construction botched. Please stop doing that. Here, drop what you're doing and come haul in some sandstone. It's really annoying I can't use that mudstone for walls. I mean, I suppose it makes sense. But, I don't know. It's like, it's stone. It says right there, mudstone, right? So it can't be mud because it's stone. Anyway, never mind. Gut worms, are you kidding me? Oh no! You're already missing an eye and now you have gut worms? Oh, there's some bunnies around here and I don't want them eating my food. And so I sent Minia after him. And you're doing an incredibly bad job. Seriously. Whoa, hold on. Why are you hunting that thing? Did I set that to hunt? I might have. Apparently I did. Okay. Well, that's definitely a thing that happened. Well, we should be uh, good to go for meat for a while. <laughs> okay. 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 Here, let's try building a food basket out of mudstone. Will that also take a thousand years? I guess we'll find out in the morning. Hey, welcome back, Morg. Ah, oh, good god. Alright, so... Yeah, do the things, do all the things. Whatever it is you need to have done, please do it. Connor, I know you're super busy doing lots of things. Can you cook this? Let's see how long this takes. I need to know how much labor it is. Oh, not bad at all. Okay, good. Good, that'll save us a lot of time and effort. I mean, obviously I have to expand this little area, but even so. In fact, I need to expand this little area right now. Which is unfortunate. This sucks having my cook also be my constructor. Uh, or my researcher be my constructor. My researcher who hates it, but is all the way up to 10 and I don't really want to start over again, you know? It's like I already got this far. Oh, our Animus Fox on the map went mad. Okay. Hey, this is perfect. I can test my zones. All right, so now this should put you guys on base and animal base. Perfect. It's exactly how I'd hoped that would work. Now, more you don't have a weapon anymore, um, which is unfortunate. Do you at least have, like, you have nothing. Here, at least come grab a sidearm. Just so you've got something. <laughs> okay, the rest of you, oh god, you'd better come over here, actually. Because we have a Vox incoming, I repeat, we have an incoming Vox. Remain panicked, do not become calm. Kill it! Okay, there we go. Okay. Jeez. Poor Vox, I feel bad for it. I mean, mostly I feel bad for us because we don't have any guns, but, you know, besides that. Alright, let's queue up some more mining. I was trying to, like, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what I was doing down here. I'm like, oh, I shouldn't cut out any more from Under Mountain, but seriously, it doesn't matter. This is already going to be a disaster. So, just come mine. Just have fun. Do whatever you want. I mean, don't do that, but, you know, do whatever you want, basically. Hey, gas operation! Alright, so, microelectronics, unfortunately. Incredibly boring, yes. 
I don't even have the ability to, like, mix some of this stuff, but... Oh well. You know, solar power might not be a bad idea either. Um, I wouldn't mind putting in water mills, except that they're pretty easy to knock down, so I don't want to deal with it. Mad Rhinoceros. Now that is quite a bit worse. Okay, it's only one. But even so, that's not good. You're a lot harder to kill than an Animus Vox. I mean, I assume. Plus, I'm still missing some walls, so I can't even, like, bring you in here fast. Come on, guys. Hmm. Well. We'll do what we can. And hopefully that will be good enough. Let's find out. This is not going to be good enough. Oh, maybe it is. Well, that settles that. Okay. Never mind. Carry on. Again, we have like all the meat in the world now. Oh my god, you have the courtyard walls done. Almost. Basically. That's pretty cool. Oh yeah, I do have this backwards, don't I? Well, that doesn't matter. It's not like I have any time to build it. Okay. Um, let's put in some bedrooms. Everybody loves having bedrooms. Should I give you regular sized bedrooms? Can I afford it? Let's find out. Well, the answer is no, but I'm going to do it anyway. This is dumb, but... Oh, well. I just need to get... I need to get some things together. <laughs> oh, I'll break this area up into just two bedrooms there. And that will have to be good enough. And sandstone doors. Could be worse. Could be a lot worse. Actually, we can... Here, cancel that. And reinstall this over here. And then we can put the heater, actually, out here. Ooh, fancy. Oh, wow, this is really awful out here. Let's, uh, let's clean this. Just temporarily. It's fine. But that's really quite awful, being all full of blood and stuff. And I really don't want people freaking out over things like that. Alright, so... Colonist Idol, seriously? Oh, that's because I'm using the emergency button. I forgot about that. Sorry, my bad. Well, the important part is you get some stuff done inside, right? Right. So, I guess I can just expand my cooking area. My food storage area. We'll make this weird and long and narrow. How about that? I like that. Yeah, I like that quite a bit. Do that. And then in here, where I can't see. I know there's stuff in there, but I can't see it. Tricky. Well, just mine these anyway, so it's a nice flat wall. And then we'll just kind of go from there. I didn't bother to put Tyler and Fox, or Connor, I'm sorry, Connor and Fox into one of the nice rooms because they still have that married buff. And are you slightly happier with your bedroom? No. Actually, yes, this is going to expire and then you'll be happier. Oh yeah, animals. Let's just get rid of some of these areas. Animal normal, stay out of bedrooms, please. Thank you. And Thiel's in a daze. All right. And vomiting all over. Okay. Sure. Why not? Let's do that too while we're at it. Let's just vomit all over the place. Like, you don't even care. Like, you don't even care a little tiny bit. Frankly, I find it offensive. Colonist Idol. Again, really? Oh, I don't have you set on, like, mining and stuff down at the bottom. Um, yeah, go do that. Or you can come carry some blocks in, if you'd rather do that. We need all the sandstone in the world, apparently. Okay, well, I tell you what, at this point, let's actually go ahead and let's take a break. When we come back, I'm going to finish up our exterior walls. I'm going to make some actual bedrooms. Um, we may have enough steel that we can make a weapon or two. <gasps> it's amazing. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time.